for today's cup of coffee. I got three lighters in my pocket. Are you one of these people that you can't remember where you put your lighter? <laughs> <laughs> and then you take other people's lighters, and then you don't know what you've done with their lighters either. He does the same thing with ink pens. Do not hand him an ink pen. Pencils. Or if he does, if, he, if you do, make sure that you get the ink pen back. Yeah, you got to watch me on that. Yeah, that's the ADHD <clears throat> inattentive disorder. It's, it's interesting. I can't tell you. I, I, I know at one point there was like 10 lighters in the car or something like that. Mm-hmm. So ever so often, I'll have to go through there and bring them in the house. Yeah. Yep. And then he's like, I can't find my lighter. It's no wonder. It's no wonder. No. I always lose them. Lose. Luth? Luth. It's okay. I always lose them. It's okay. We are sharing the wealth today. Sharing the wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, because I actually watched, have watched some really kind of hardcore videos. I have a tendency to be on the serious side of YouTube's. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I don't know why. I, I have a tendency to be a kind of serious kind of person. I don't know why. I don't know why. So we try to have humor, but it it does get. Mm. railroaded by reality serious yeah so i mean we have humor in it because some of the i mean we've got some hardcore shit going on right now we do we do that brings me to well i came to this one first there was an astrologer and he's been around for a considerable amount of time his name is rick levine this isn't related to Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Adam Levine. He looks like a wizard. He truly he does. looks like a wizard. He, he, it, you just got to see him. He really does just look like wizard. He just dude. needs to wear the hat. He needs a whole getup. Yeah, but staff he, and everything. <laughs> he did a. It was um, some kind of lecture, seminar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there a couple of days ago, and it's under astrology of 2024 and beyond. Okay, and it's incredible because not only does he show you what's going on in a way that you can understand, he explains the history of some of the astrology, and you get into the mythology. And a very good teacher. Mm-hmm. Which is very much appreciated by me. I learned a lot. And he's one of these, I don't know whether his videos will stay up or if he leaves them up for a period of time and then takes them down. Because some people do that. They do. And I think that I may look and see as far as, I I am an auditory learner. I learn by, by hearing a lot of times easier than than when I read a book or something like that. I love books, love them. But to have somebody explain it, mm-hmm. and and so I'm really thinking of, you know, downloading that video so I can listen to it. it he's got so much information. Right. And I listened to half of it because the other half he was going to do like somebody's personal astrology. So he may have more information in there that pertains to coming events than I heard. Mm -hmm. But when he said that he was just going to, you know, somebody's individual chart, I'm like, no, but he's talking about April. And I think he said that his birthday was on the 6th and they're on April the 8th, that they're supposed to be something significant. Mm-hmm. And also there, I think he said April the 20th. But 2024 is a very pivotal year. It's, yeah. Yeah. A lot of shit's already been good, been hitting the fan. Mm-hmm. Hitting the fan bar- bad mm-hmm. and hard. And he was explaining that some of the things that we've been going through, that the planetary alignment was similar to how it had been in the mid-60s. But what's weird, he didn't say anything about it, but it's almost like it was, it's was. it been inverted. 
or things have just gone to an extreme well it, it's th- some of the same and worse things from the 60s such as if you want to talk about women's rights or if it was a matter of uh, you know confronting racism and bigotry and all that stuff because at that period of time those things truly needed to be addressed mm-hmm. but what's been going on the past few years it's undoing the progress that had been made it certainly is which is i find very strange i find it disheartening well it can be it can be when you see things that there were people that fought for sometimes died for dedicated their life to undone in just a few years how easily things can can be become unraveled Mm -hmm. old wounds uh you know opened up people to be told oh you need to be offended by this and instead of healing no how do you get past these things? Gandhi, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. The key to get through some of this stuff is forgiveness. That doesn't mean that whatever bad things happened were okay. It means that you learn from it and you move forward. Mm-hmm. Or not. Or you sit and spin. And that's diseased thinking. Diseased thinking within individuals causes disease within families and communities and states and nations and worlds. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, you know, but he had some, like I said, I, I'm just going to give you the link and, and let you have your interpretation of it. I found him very easy to understand. There's a lot of people that... I, I don't know when when I listen to some of these things I I get my in my interpretation I know what they're talking about I know, I know what images come come to my heart and my mind and I get an understanding of these things as far as learning the degrees and do I, I have no desire to do that it's not what I'm geared to do because a lot of it's math yeah this is very much math, and, and it's just like, blah, and it's like a deer caught in a headlight look. It's just like, blah. But now, I th- if he has, I'm going to look and see if he has some books, because if he does, if his books are anything like this seminar was, I might be able to read it and get something out of it. Do you think people are going to look back at this time and be like, hmm? Yeah. One way or the other, they are. And it's like the choices that we make now, in this year, matter. Because they're going to have repercussions, some of this stuff, 14 years and more. It's sobering. I mean, he's not a doomsayer by any means. I mean, it's scaring the shit out of a lot of us. Because, like, this is a very turbulent time. It is. And it's very tense. Sure. It's certainly Like, is. it's a very tense, socially tense time. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's a tense time individually. Uh-huh. And, and it's like, when you have things come to the surface, it's a matter of dealing with what comes to the surface that was just like that video game that we watched today right. gap smolders had played a video <clears throat> game it was supposed to, Hill. supposed to be a you know some within that mythos and ooh, God, it was rough let me tell you it was emotionally rough to watch the story well that's just on part, that that's just part for the course of silent hill The story was really good. They did not tie Silent Hill into it that that tightly. No, I think they just big part, big no no. They just sort of slapped Silent Hill's name on it. 
but it was free. You know, I don't know if she got it off Steam or where she got it off. I don't know that she said. PS5. It's okay. exclusively oh, okay. on the PS5. PS5. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what oldest kid said about it. Oh, Don't do it. <laughs> Konami is basically a dead company. Ever okay. since they, like ever since they fired Kojima, that was the nail the final nail in the coffin. They're just dead at this point. They no longer able to make good games. Right. Like the death of Silent Hill went along with the firing of Kojima. Any well, hope for Silent Hill or any good games? Well, you know, unless they they get other people in there and stuff like that. I I don't know. But within the storyline, it was a matter of uh, generational curses. It was. Basically. And and breaking those generational curses. And you do that by getting help and forgiveness and understanding. And usually it's a good thing if you've got somebody that's really good and trusted and wise to help you through that process. Mm -hmm. You know, just like the wizards. And that was that was one of the things about when when people were older, younger people would come to them for wisdom. Mm-hmm. That's not happening. For whatever reason, that is not happening. And so what are they doing? They're going to their peers that are just as confused and fucked up as they are. Looking for what? More confusion and more, fuck, more fuckery? Yeah. Because that's what happened. It's the blind leading the blind. Yeah, but a lot of it is like, <clears throat> and I hate to say it because, you, especially since you hate it, it's like, it is overused, trauma based. A lot of it. Right. So it's like, you know, their parents didn't do anything for them, right? Or the, or they abused them or other stuff, or grandparents, some relative person looking after them right abuse them why would they go to someone like that no i get it i I do get it because we have had adults that have failed kids for a minute Mm -hmm. like generations but that doesn't mean this goes into where people pigeonhole people and the black and white thinking this person did this to me so therefore Anyone else like this person is going to do the same thing to me. And and that's erroneous thinking. That's a fallacy. It is. And and that was just like the premise when it first came on. It was like, oh, the strongest of the animals are, uh, they they live by themselves. They don't need anybody else. And Gab Smolder, she's like, what about lions? So the whole basis, whoever wrote this... And wolves. Obviously does not understand how animals survive together. Right. Usually the ones that are out there totally by themselves die. As far as this lone wolf myth. Now they they live in, in packs. They do. They have a whole social structure. Most animals... Are like that. Rept- reptiles do not. But even they will get just like those those caves of Stretchy the snakes. Thing. And it's just like, oh, yeah. yuck, yuck. Yuck. But they, they will. They, they will do that. Mm-hmm. It, it's weird. But even at the end of the game, I'm not going to spoil on, on, on that. It was still... There was a little bit of resolution, but the original erroneous thought persisted. Yeah, and they tried to add on to it, but it was still just like, it's stupid. Well, it's I stupid it thinking. Was, it's flawed thinking. Yeah, it had to do with personal lies. But during this period of time, it is a matter of confronting personal lies, societal lies, all kinds of lies. It, they're being exposed. Mm-hmm. What we do with that knowledge matters. So I I do urge you to go and and listen to that. It lasts about yeah maybe about about an hour, 
it it doesn't seem long. Like I said, it, there's so much information that he gives. I'm going to have to go back and listen to it two or three times. I'm like, damn, I need to take notes because I do that. I do do that. You still talking about the game or what? No, I'm talking about Rick Levine okay. at this point. Wizard. He's a wizard. Yeah. And he's he's just a cool dude. Mm -hmm. He really is. Then the other other one that I would like to share with you all and give you the, the links will be there in the description box. Tucker Carlson, the guy that he spoke with, it was just most of his interviews are mind blowing because he lets these people tell their stories. Really? And, yeah. And Tucker's hilarious because he sits there like a kid. And just sits there and listens. And that's all it takes. But he spoke with a gentleman named Kelly Means. And Mr. Means used to work for Big Pharma. And he just, he was discussing this thing about Ozempic. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and as far as people trying to do that to combat obesity and different things like that, and this dude, he just laid it all out about the scam, about how Americans, through the food and big pharma and all this stuff, that we have been poisoned for years. And he said it is a matter that we have a metabolic crisis going on here in America. Obesity is a symptom. Mm -hmm. And that this new drug by Big Pharma is... <laughs> Some it's people don't learn, people. do they? No. They want to take a shortcut with a lot of the things. Yeah. Yeah. But he explained, even as far as mainstream media and everything like that, if there's anybody that still watches some of that shit, see how many times it says sponsored by. Yeah, check those sponsors. And he Pay had attention said to those sponsors. That basically what it is that the quote-unquote news that Big Pharma determines what is reported, how it's reported. So they are the they. They're part of the they. Mm -hmm. Even as far as the commercials that are in between, he's like, that really has nothing to do with anything. He said it's a matter of them paying the money to control the narrative. And it just is incredible. Blew them out of it, the water. It, yeah. Uh, he blows a lot of it out of the water as far as how the... We don't have a health care system. We have a disease control system. Disease maintaining. Uh-huh. And it was... Maintenance. And it was like, I was over here, raise your fist, fuck you, I was right, fuck you, I was right. <laughs> because the this is the, some of the stuff that I have known for 20, 30 years. Right. And it's just somebody else that has a platform and a louder voice. I don't care who speaks it out. I don't care who gets the credit. It's important to get the information out there to the people so that they can make better choices, so that they don't continue to be harmed by these bastards. Yep, yep. But there was so much information there. That's another one. I don't even know if I could go back and listen to that one again because that's just, like I said, most of it I already knew. I didn't have to know the minutia. But it's just, yeah. And God bless Tucker Carlson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's doing good. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want him to, but he is. And he's getting he's getting all this stuff out there. He like is. I said, all this shit's being uncovered. Mm -hmm. Every single bit is Coffee being slurp. exposed, and <laughs> it would not surprise me if every secret was not. Ex it would honestly surprise me if everything was not exposed this year. Right. Right. 
Well, it's a matter of people, and, and you've got people that they will still plug their ears and do that. No, 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 I can't hear you. They don't want to. There's, there are none so blind who will not see. Mm-hmm. There's a choice. And no matter how badly you want somebody else to understand, accept, make better decisions, that does not mean that they will. They have free will, and to try to force them to do anything differently is black magic. Don't go there. Pray for them. Back off and just roll with it. Yep. That's all you can do. So... This is a matter of focusing on individual choice. Heal your wounds. He did say that it's a matter of wounds being healed. So that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a needed thing. It's a much needed thing. So we just wanted to share this. The, these, you know, these were important to me. So I wanted to make them available to other people who mm-hmm. may not have known who these people were right you know to do a little bit of work how hard was it to provide a link that ain't much you know no it's Final. this is stuff that is important mm-hmm. it needs to be known it, yeah there's so many people that are sick mm-hmm. mind body and spirit and it's like this we shit is for killing you. people sure he said that it was causing the stomach to go into spasm yes it paralyzes the stomach yeah you can't if live you're like starving that. to death. If you're starving to death, if your stomach doesn't work or anything like that, yeah, you're going to lose weight. Yeah. And with that weight loss, you're going to lose cognitive function because your body's starving. When it goes into starvation mode, you know, mm-hmm. shit starts to break down. It does. And, and this total obsession of being thin... Or blaming and shaming people because they've got a weight issue. And this is something, I, you know, for years, that is a symptom. But that's all right because people sit in their back and they're like, well, I can do and I can do and I can. Well, good for you. You don't have the same challenges. You don't know that person's genetics. You don't know what path they've had to walk. Have a little compassion. Because you don't know how when it will be you. You don't. You absolutely do not. Because it can happen to anybody. Sure. Because as people judge others, they will be judged. Mm-hmm. That's sobering. Final thoughts, kid? No, I think that's it. Yeah. So, that's spiritual warfare. Yep. Arm yourself. Mm-hmm. Awaken that inner Gandalf. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. I had so much fun okay. with that one. I really did. Yeah. Was, <laughs> you need that as like a sound bite. I do. I just, just randomly. I need a little button where I can just press the Gandalf. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As a soundboard. Yeah. But, you know, I can't carry that in the store. I no. want it to where I can carry it in a store. And those people, when they start running you down... Just play that. See if you can find you one. See if you can find one of those little things that you'd like. They stick in toys and you can just press. That would be it. great. Yeah, that's a thought. That really. Build is. a bear I'm... has some of those. Hmm. Might have to look for some of that. Yeah. That would be awesome. Just to see that look on their face. Mm-hmm. It's like what? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, if you have video they, they... links that you would like to share with us, now go ahead and uh, send me the email. Don't be sending me no spam bullshit stuff like that. The bots keep your emails to yourself. They ain't going to hear you. They don't got ears. I don't know how that works. I, I, so that's one part of what it is. I don't know how they that works. They just scan your words and they ignore them. Okay. Well, that that's all right. That has happened lots. That didn't mean that it's the power of the word. It is powerful. Stop messing us spam. Messing us. <laughs> messing. I can't email, speak. Email it's fine. Cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. It's there in the description box. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yep. Know that you're loved. Mm-hmm. What you do 
matters. Yes. You matter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always remember that. Yep. It, that they know everything has a ripple effect. It's all frequency, vibration, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. So, Lord willing, we will see you on the next cut. Yeah. Bye. Bye.